to admit that it's not as fast as we'd expect after the announcement of HC and cloud-based payments, uh, but it's progressing actually. Uh, Apple is uh, extending in other regions. Samsung has recently announced that they uh, will uh, support Samsung Pay in several uh, handsets. Uh, Orange uh, in France is expanding uh, nationwide. So it's progressing, and in terms of testing, it's also moving forward. GCF and PTCRB endorse the uh, GSMA testbook, and uh, EMVCO is uh, simplifying the testing for mobile payments. Tokenization is not a new technology, it's something that is already used in payment for online merchants. Uh, to secure the, uh, the cardholder data. Uh, in the mobile uh, payment context, uh, you have several ways of securing the, uh, the payment. Either you use a secure element, which is highly secure and proved to be highly secure, but if you're using a, a mobile payment with an application that is stored within your mobile, you need to uh, strengthen the security token is a way to avoid using the cardholder data in the context of the payment. So it's a way to secure the transaction. Another way also to secure the, the transaction in mobile payment is the uh, TE, the Trusted Execution Environment. So there's different way for the bank to mitigate the risk. Biometry is a way to simplify the uh, end-user authentication. In the uh, smart card, uh, when you do a payment transaction, you enter a PIN. It's something that you know. It's the way we authenticate you. Uh, to simplify this, uh, with the mobile, it's uh, very easy because you have sensor, you have camera, so you can use uh, fingerprint recognition, facial recognition, and this is very easy for the end user to be authenticated.